Library Day by Anne Rockwell. On Saturday, I go to the new library with my father. It's the first time we've been there together. Before we go inside, we drop the books he borrowed through the slot. I hear them thump in the bin when they land. My father brings me to the children's room for story hour. He tells me he will go to the grown-up shelves to look for a new book. There are two boys and three girls sitting in a circle. I sit next to a boy who has a green shirt on. I've seen him at the playground. The librarian says hello and tells us her name is Mrs. Edmonds. Then she reads us the three sillies. After Mrs. Edmonds is done, she introduces Mr. Miguel. He reads us a story from his homeland of Puerto Rico. It's about a donkey named Senor Boro. We all listen quietly except when we laugh. It's especially funny when Mr. Miguel goes, hee-haw, hee-haw, as loud as he can. When story hour is finished, the boy in the green shirt tells me his name is Jack, and I tell him mine is Dawn. Now we have time to look at all the cool things in the library. I thought there were just books here, but Jack shows me a shelf with movies and a rack with magazines in the corner. I like the magazine about dogs because there's an article in it about a puppy who looks just like our dog Reggie did when he was a puppy. I also like a magazine about rabbits and chickens and farm animals. After I put the magazines back, I go to a low shelf filled with picture books. I take a book with a tiger on the front. Mr. Miguel shows me a book. He says, it looks like you like books about animals. Maybe you'd like this one. The boy in the book has a snake for a pet. I show him the book about a big red truck. I like this one too, I say. You can take them all home, Mr. Miguel says. Next to the picture book bin, there is a baby sitting on the floor with lots of books to read. Except the baby is reading her book upside down. She goes, goo goo, gaba, woo. Then she turns the page, but her book is still upside down. Jack has gone home, but I have time to explore. Across the room, some big boys and girls are playing chess quietly. A big boy is sitting at a computer. Two girls are making bookmarks. I look through the three books again, and then the librarian's helper puts a new book on the shelf. It's about apples and pumpkins. Hey, I like apples. I like pumpkins. So I bet I'll like this book. Just then, my father comes into the children's room. I ask him if I can take out these four books. He says yes. And then he says, but you will need your own library card. My own library card? We walk to the front desk. We hand our books to Mrs. Edmonds. My father says that I would like my own card. Mrs. Edmonds smiles and says, I can see he's a real reader. I tell her my full name and where I live. We wait a few minutes while lights on her machine go on and off as it rumbles. Here you are, Don, she says. She hands me a card with my own name written on the back. Mrs. Edmonds scans the barcodes on my books with her little green light and reminds me to return them in two weeks. Outside the door, there is a poster of a puppet show about the gingerbread man. My father reads it to me and asks, would you like to go see that puppet show next Saturday? I sure would, I say. 
I take my father's hand as we cross the street and head home. Library Day by Anne Rockwell.